Well, there's a sink in progress. And I have my calendar set. And I just counted today. And I have exactly 12 days, 12 days until I'll show you. This is my uh, dry erase board. 12 days until Green Day. 12. There's only 12, and I'm so excited. So that's right. I'm waiting, and I'm so excited. And my dad's friend got uh, tickets for us because he works for the concert agency. And he is amazing because if there's a meet and greet before or after the show, we're definitely getting in. <laughs> and that's going to be the second time I'm meeting Green Day. And this is basically just a blog to brag about my Green Day concert coming up because I'm just so excited. And yeah. I'm pretty much like freaking out. You must see my bulletin board. This is my bulletin board. And a lot of it is Green Day. There's the flyer that I got when I met Green Day the first time. See it says meet Green Day. Um there's Insomniac, Bullet in a Bible, Shenanigans, uh Bullet in a Bible again. 1039, American Idiot, Dookie, uh, which one's that? Nimrod, um, International Super Hits, Foxborough Hot Tubs, and the network is somewhere around here. There's the network, and 21st Century Breakdown is in my CD player. Okay, and, um, the. Green Day at the VMAs. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna be seeing Green Day. <laughs> I'm so excited. But last time I met them, like the first time I met them, all I did was ask Billy Joe for a hug because I was too starstruck to say anything. And um, I asked him for a hug and he asked what my name was and I said Devin and he signed my CD. And he spelled my name right. You want to see it? Okay, I'll show it to you. Uh, it. Found it, found it. Okay. Here's the special edition 21st century breakdown copy that I acquired on May 15th, 2009, Friday, at probably, I think it was 8.30 a.m., even though the store was supposed to open at 9. But they opened it early for us because I was one of the fans that stayed out overnight waiting for the store to open, trying to be one of the first 500 people to meet Green Day. Um, as you can see, this is the most amazing thing ever. It was only available at that Best Buy on that day, and it was an extremely limited edition copy. So I'm feeling very lucky. And the best part is, when you open it, note that Green Day Best Buy said that they were not allowed to sign anything other than the CD. They signed many extra things. They even let 200 more people in than they were supposed to let in. Um, and it also said on the Best Buy rules that Green Day could not personalize autographs. But what did G Billy Joe do with my signature? He personalized it because he's awesome. As you know, probably, my name's Devin and he asked me what my name was, I said Devin, and he spelled it right without me telling him how to spell it. This is Mike Durnt's signature. I said thank you, and he was like, yes, you're welcome. Um, this is Trey Cool's signature. And Billy Joe's signature. You ready? It says Devin Billy Joe. 
and he spelled my name right with the O, which nobody spells right because everybody always spells it with an I, and Billy Joe knows how to spell it. So that's my signed 21st century copy. The CD is uh, here. Mm -hmm. um, hold on. I also have the regular edition because I'm hardcore. It's in my CD player and it's broken, but that makes it even cooler for some reason. Um, yeah, me and my friend Vinny went, and my dad, that green day. I was too starstruck to say anything. So I'm waiting for my second turn, which is in 12 days. I almost said 2, but 12 days. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to go. Hope you enjoyed this very boring vlog. Me bragging about meeting Green Day. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. See ya.